They may not be everyone's favourite road user, but the life of a city bicycle courier isn't easy. I slipped on a manhole cover while riding. And there's a lot of distance to cover. 60, 70 miles a day. All of these couriers regard themselves as being employed workers because they work for one company for around 50 hours per week. They're told what to do, how to do it and when to do it, but they're not treated as being employed. The idea that we're independent contractors running our own company is simply not true. I don't get sick pay, I don't get holiday pay. Like many others who work in sectors such as cab driving and construction, they're treated as self-employed independent contractors, which means they're not entitled to a range of rights and benefits, including the national minimum wage and the right not to be treated or dismissed unfairly. I checked on Google, it was like four and a half miles to pick up. And I so in what could be a landmark case, four London courier companies are being taken to an employment tribunal. The couriers, supported by their union, are seeking a declaration that they are in fact employed workers. And according to the lawyer bringing the case, a win for the couriers could have a significant impact on the modern labour market. Others in similar situations can also challenge their circumstances, their situation, can go to a court and say, it doesn't matter what it says on the contract, in fact I am an employee or a worker, please can I have the same rights? We spoke to the four courier companies, Addison Lee, Excel, eCourier and City Sprint. None conceded the courier's claims. City Sprint's response was representative. In a statement they told us, we are aware of the assertions regarding the employment status of our courier fleet. We believe these are unfounded. We're very proud of our fleet and offer them the opportunity to achieve among the highest earnings in the industry. For the moment, the couriers continue to be treated as self-employed, which means putting in the miles with no employee benefits. Clive Coleman, BBC News.